it has started raining. Back up the hill, get back on gravel. Don't turn on brushy lane. Nothing will make you cold like 10 miles of downhill at 30 miles an hour in the rain. Today we're in Love Valley. Uh, I'm on the bicycle today. Been a while since I've been on the bicycle. Got some new wheels built by a local wheel builder in Charlotte, Jerry Adams. So we're gonna go put them to test. Riding on some gravel, uh, I think they're uh, Panaracer Gravel Kings. So I have no idea about gravel tires, but Love Valley is all gravel. So uh, the conditions today are guaranteed to be overcast and guaranteed to rain. So yeah, I figured it would be a great day to come ride and uh, by myself, just gonna go have some fun. So uh, let's get into this. So I haven't even really got to the good part of this ride, but just had to stop because it is gorgeous. It's super foggy. As you can tell, I took my jacket off because it has warmed up. I think it broke 50, uh, which it feels amazing. The downhills are slightly chilly, but the uphills you get warm enough to kind of sweat and then bomb the bottom. But I think this is called the Love Valley. Uh, Roubaix maybe I have no idea there's gonna be a link to my Strava of this ride if you know what this route is called please uh, put it down below and I'll change the title uh, to reflect and put the information in the details so people can find out about it because it is gorgeous gorgeous gravel it's a little mushy today but man it's like perfect so it's gonna start raining here any moment so hopefully uh, yeah we'll get going So this is where it really starts. It's a big loop. You can go either way. I've only ridden this one time. Uh, it was like two or three weeks after I had COVID and blew myself apart uh, just on that first section. The group I was with, they left me because it was, it was bad. But when I got to the bottom, I saw their tracks. They went left. So I think you can go both ways. I don't know which way is harder. I just know the left way, so. I'm going left. This is true gravel riding. Just slugging it out up the hill. Hour and 15 minutes in. Uh, just first big climb. Rain has not come yet. Fantastic. Uh, feels freaking amazing. Like, I mean, I know this is not ideal conditions for all riders, but she's this rider loves it. Just amazing muddy gravel for days. status update it has started raining I just came down a, a very steep hill basically all of the elevation that I have done for the day just undid it uh, which means temperature dropped it's raining started getting cool so time to put a little food in and put a jacket on
I stopped and uh, decided to put a little more air in the tire because that's the front tire, that's the back tire. Should be more a little more weight on it, but that is a flared out way too much. And on this climb, and it is just difficult with these tires. So it's just extra resistance. So decided to mash on the pump a little bit, see if we can get a little more air in to see if it does anything. And put this jacket on because uh, I was a little chilly from that downhill. Uh-uh. I'm like boiling now because I am currently standing in the middle of a climb. Enough rambling. Time to get back on the bike. To look at my GPS because honestly don't know where to go from here. So my god, if the only thing you get out of this video, don't turn on brushy lane. It's not the right way. Because if you go down brushy lane, well I took a wrong turn. So I gotta climb that uh master field that I just went down, which will be fine. I've put some heat back in my body, but I don't know if you can hear in there. There's uh, three gentlemen that are working. They were nice enough to help me get the directions because uh, I took a wrong turn. And so I'm going to go back up the hill, get back on gravel, and go around because I'm on pavement and I don't want to be on pavement. So, uh, yeah, we'll get back at it. Oh my God, that sucked. that little short recovery I realized that I did bring a little bit of food but I left all my other food so that's a bummer. tip as you can see I am wearing a black jacket instead of a green one this is actually a rain jacket and it's not raining at this moment but after the last rain it drenched me soaked me and my windbreaker got wet and it's doing a good job uh, stopping the wind but it is damp and so um, yeah it's just not doing as good a job as this and so right now I've got another thousand feet of descent coming up which means i've got a lot of downhills which means if i'm already a little cold I probably should bundle up before heading down the hill so also changed out gloves uh these are wet because i've had them on for a little bit but uh yeah now i'm on the road part of this ride it's not as enjoyable but downhills are coming so that's gonna be fun difficult to see but the house right back there was the house that gave me the directions to go up this hill well I took a wrong turn uh, so I've made a big loop and now I'm going back down and I think I'm on the right route well I'll probably look a little different 
Nothing will make you cold like 10 miles of downhill at 30 miles an hour in the rain. Oh my God. Turned into a popsicle, so currently just trying to get heat back in. Five miles out. Rain's picked up just a little bit. Oh, climbing. Well, this ride is over man it was definitely uh the last 10 miles was kind of tough uh, i had to ride devil jacket because uh had a six mile downhill that was like 1100 feet of descent and i just turned into a popsicle I and mean, i could not get warm and so i bundled up put this scarf on to just try to get the heat that was coming out of my mouth into my jacket helped a ton um and I put this hood on over my head to just kind of keep a little bit more heat uh, in my body. Uh, the bike is thrashed, like it's squeaking like crazy. Um, definitely broke in the new wheels. Uh, but man, if you've ever done this route, starts in Love Valley, I know it's a big gravel route and I think there's a race here, I think. If you've ever done this, um, put, the com put the name of the route in the comments, uh, my link to my Strava is in the description and uh, yeah, it's been a definitely a fun ride. So until next time, adios.